Hi, today we will see how you can configure India Compliance for Payroll. As you're aware, the payroll for India Compliance would include components like income tax, PF, saving declarations, etc. before you can actually calculate the payroll. Let's see how these can be set up. Let's go to employees. First thing that you need to do is complete the employee profiles that you add. Let's add all the details. Key in the joining date. Let's keep the confirmation date as the same. Let's key in the address. The state, the state is important from the point of view of professional tax. Let's key in the compensation details. Employment type, full type. You can see there is an option of part time, casual shift workers, probation, and out workers. Let's key in the CTC. This is per year. Key in the payment method, direct deposit. Let's click on next. You can assign various components over here, right? You can see an estimate computation based on your CTC. It's basically divided by 12. And according to the percentage that you set for basic and HRA, this gets further broken down. You can key in the percentage of basic. For HRA, you have the options 40 or 50 percentage. You can key in other components. You can add other components if required. Else we click on next. I'll define the PAN number. You can key in the UN number as well, the PF number. If professional tax is applicable, you can check mark this. If it's not, you can uncheck this. If an employee is exempt from tax calculation, you can check mark this option. If employee's provident fund is applicable, we check mark this. Click on save. And the employee details have been saved. Next, let's look at investments. As you're aware, you can do saving declarations at the beginning of the financial year. Let's key in the time period for which we are doing the saving declaration. We'll select the financial year, 1st April from next year, March. So from April to 31st March is the time period that we have set. I click on apply. So the income tax declaration will be taken into consideration for payroll from April itself. Let's save this. So this has been saved. I go to my IT declaration. Now you can select old tax regime or new tax regime. Let's start giving some details. So you can key in your house rent details. So you check mark this. You need to click on plus house rent. You specify the time period for your house rent, address, total amount landlord details and also the PAN card number for the landlord. You can key in any home loan related details. So if you enable this, you can key in all the interest amounts, the lender PAN number, etc. If there are any additional income that you're getting via rental, you can key in the details here as well. Let's, let's go to ATC investment. You click on add. 
Under the investment, you have various sections like PPF, mutual funds, etc. So let's add one of these. So you've selected the PPF option or the term deposit in post office. You can have ATD investments, other investments and exemptions as well. Simply click on these and you can add these. You can also key in the income from other sources like savings, deposit, etc. You can click on calculate tax liability. This will show you the income tax liability based on the old regime and the saving declaration that you have made and also the new tax regime. You can change from old to new tax regime once. Let's stay with the old tax regime. Let's click on save and submit. So you need to make sure all the details have been correctly entered. The declarations have been saved. Let's go to payroll calculation now. Go to payroll, go to pay run. We need to add a pay run and a pay schedule. Let's click on that. Let's add pay run. I have not added any pay schedule as yet. I can go to ad hoc pay schedule as well if I want. Let's do that. Let's click on the employee. Let's select the pay date. Let's key in the work period as the month of June. Let's click on apply. Let's click on process. As soon as you click on process, you can see the various details have been auto calculated. The fixed allowance, HRA, PF as applicable, income tax as applicable from the slab, the employer contribution and employee contribution. The net pay is shown over here. You can click on next. You can see the details and process payroll. You get a warning to ensure accuracy. Please review a payroll and make sure they are 100% correct. You wish to continue. Let's click yes. And click on view summary. You get to see the summary for the payroll for the month. You get to see the various earnings, the deductions that is under professional tax or income tax or EPF. So this way you can add multiple employees that you have under employee list. Key in their details that is their CTC earnings. You can ask the employees to log into their portals. They can key in their individual saving declaration and month on month as you process the salary, the income tax is also calculated automatically. Please do try this out and share your feedback with us. Thank you.